Hello everyone, welcome back. KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. Bridgecom contacts me and they said, hey Eric, we watch your videos on YouTube. You don't have too much on DMR. Can we invite you to check out something on DMR that a lot of people think is hot? And I said, I'm totally for that. And this is the Anytone AT D878 UV Plus. What is the first thing I need to do? Well, the first thing I need to do is figure out how the programming software works because that's gonna be the easiest way to program this. You can program it right from the front of the radio. It is field programmable, but if you're talking about dumping in a whole code plug with 10,000 contacts or 10,000 different uh, talk groups, you're gonna to wanna to do that from the software. So the software is available free online. I'm gonna download that now real quick and let's just take a look over the software and see what that would look like uh, if you were programming the radio. So in the past, DMR pushed a lot of people away because it was just so darn hard to get it working. And there's still people to this day that say, oh, I bought this radio or that radio and I can't get it programmed. I'm having trouble. It is a little bit of a learning curve. But when I look at the site here, because I'm going to go for the programming software, it seems that Bridgecom wants to make it easy for people to get on DMR. In fact, they even have packages, plug and play packages, download a code plug, uh, you know, um, support for different radios, uh, even the DMR University. OK, and, uh, you know, see, there's bundles right here with everything with a hot spot and everything to go so and they even have lessons down here you know how to update the firmware how to change the transmit power stuff like that you know they're trying to make it easy in fact so easy that they're saying this old guy right here can use a dmr radio <laughs> i mean i think that's what the purpose of that is but hey uh, more power i i love it so we're going to go to uh support and uh d878 uv and of course there's some videos on here i'm looking for the latest code plug software so we're going to download this install it and get it running so first thing we always need to do on a programming software that i've ever touched is set the com port so um set com okay set com port mine should be seven is yeah should be seven and then you should go to program. Make sure your radio's on. I did not install any drivers. Windows 10 automatically installed them when I plugged it in. So we'll hit read from radio. And it should. Uh, yeah, we'll do the digital contact list. Yeah, there it goes. It should install, you know, read. If you get an error, it's probably a COM port issue. Okay, so what can we do? You know, you can dump a whole code plug in here. OK, and put all these different frequencies in and go through different zones. What I found on DMR is there's several different ways of programming it. Like, for instance, if it was me, what I would do is I'd have zone one would be local repeaters to me. And then zone two would be probably, uh, uh, you know, repeaters that I would hit on the way of traveling. And then zone three might be um, my hotspot. You know, and that's kind of how I would do it. But I think people do it like zone one is all the ones that have this talk group and zone two is all. The, I think there's different ways of doing it. And that's why I really never made a DMR. I think I made one DMR programming video in the past. And I got so many questions like, hey, wait, somebody gave me this code plug. It looks different than what you did. And there's other guys on YouTube making the code plug videos. So I chose to not really get into that. But what I want to do right now is first I need to set the radio ID of my radio I need to put um, the radio ID in here so I guess okay that's what's in there we're gonna put mine in that's my radio ID and I'm gonna call it uh, I don't know KJ4 YZI sure that should be my radio then if you have somebody else and you want to switch between radio IDs you can put different IDs in so if your wife wants to use it or your kid you can just switch over uh, I guess the name should be Eric right We'll just call it Eric. There we go. Okay. So that's that. And then next we need to go to, uh, so we have one zone here with eight channels in there. And those are the eight channels. So I'm going to use this right now just to play with. We're going to do this. We're going to make this first one. We're going to call it KJ4YZ. That's the name of the local repeater. I'm not, it's not my repeater. It's in uh, Indian River County. The, uh, we're going to do channel type digital. The receive frequency is 444.350. Remember, I remember all of these on the top of my head because I hardly ever program radios. 
449.35000. And uh, bandwidth, I guess that'd be 12 and a half. Um, radio ID is set for me. Color code 1. We're going to do slot 2. And uh, I, sh I just want to get a couple done so I can listen to something and make a contact here. So we're going to call that 1. Thank you. 